All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So I gave you guys some feedback on Classroom on your logos. I think I did every single person got some sort of individual feedback from me. And I, I would encourage you to make some changes on that um, in the original AI file. You can go ahead and just download the one that you had before or whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and download this one, Elena's. Thank you, Elena, for letting me do this. And um, I'm going to open it up in Illustrator. And you'll notice that when it's an SVG file, it's still editable. So you can still go in and make some changes, whatever I suggested. So there are a few things you need to do in order to um, get this ready for the printer cutter. For, for now, I'm just going to move this out of, out of here so you can kind of see what's going on. Right now, the printer cutter, if it were to um, print this, it would cut it as a square. And um, you'd have a square sticker, which is fine. But I'm assuming you might want a circular sticker or a sticker exactly the shape of your uh, object. So here's what you need to do. First of all, um, as I said before, when, when things scale, the strokes change sizes. So if I were to click here and uh, make this thing, as, I, you know, as I've shown you before, much bigger, the line will now look um, very thin. Whereas if I were to make this much smaller, the line in comparison looks very thick. So in order to prevent that from happening, we have to do uh, a, a couple things here to kind of finalize this. And the first thing we can do is we can um, object, expand, fill and stroke. And that what that does is it just makes it so that our uh, um, our strokes are going to stay the same thickness regardless of how big they are. You can see that. So that's number one. Number two, we need to have two layers. Layer one, this is our object. We need to duplicate it. And we now have a layer one copy, which you're going to rename. Cut. Cut out. Cut out. Oh, man, I forget. Hopefully that's... I'll tell you otherwise if I'm wrong. But I think it's cut out. Let's uh, turn on, lock layer one, turn it off. So all you see is layer two, the cutout layer. Select it all. And you're going to go up here and uh, Pathfinder, Window Pathfinder. And you're going to click on Shape Mode, Unite. And you'll get this. So it'll give you one object. There is a few little spots here, which could be a little bit of a problem. So... I'll be a good person and I'll uh, use the shape builder tool to just pick those out. They should go away if I go through with the shape builder tool. Um, if you have any weird holes in your, the problem is if you don't, if you leave those, then the cutter will cut those little holes and you'll have a sticker with these little tiny gaps in it. And that's probably not what you want. So fix it or call me over if you don't know how. But basically we want the shape of our cut out. This is the shape of our sticker essentially, right? The next thing we need to do, this is kind of weird, but we have to set it to a certain color that the that the printer will recognize as a cut out line. And that color is in this special art uh, palette or swatch library, I guess we call it, uh, called, I don't know if I can find it. It's a color book. I'm going to go ahead and just, I have it downloaded, so I'll just open it real quick. It's in my graphic design folder. I don't think I need to give this to you guys. I think what I'm going to do instead is um, just, well, I'll show you in a second. Let me just grab it. Sorry, you can fast forward now. A couple of seconds. Um, there it is. Illustrator. Versa works. Okay, so we want this color right here. Cut contour. So there it is. Now you can find this color, I think, by just typing this in, EC008C, again, capital E, capital C, 008C, and you can get to this by just double clicking and pop that up. You need this to be in the stroke, not the fill. And we're gonna set the stroke size to 0.5. So look up here, you should definitely have a slash on the fill and this should be that color. How do you know if it's that color? You double click on it. 
and make sure it's EC008C. If it's not, the printer will not cut it there. Now we go back to our um, layers, turn on this layer, and you'll see that it's got this little pink outline around it. That's where it's going to cut. So now you are good to go. You're going to save this as an EPS file, put it in your documents. Oh, I made it. I made a mistake, didn't I? I should probably put that on my artboard. Put it back in here. So I'm going to unlock the bottom layer, take both of those, push them back over here. My artboard looks so. Actually, you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to take my artboard, make a new one here. <laughs> hmm, I thought it would automatically generate one. There it goes. And I'm going to delete this one. Delete. Okay, so now file save as uh, Illustrator EPS, use artboards, and put it in your documents. And then just, I, I don't really know what to do here, but it looks good. Make sure it's not black and white, make sure it's color. And you definitely want to have transparent instead of opaque. Um, I don't think anything else really matters. Okay. Now, when I bring this into my fancy new program, I'll show you what it does. Delete this. Uh, I'm going to be able to now add that file to my documents. Elena Let's see if I can find it. Well, I don't know. I mean Oh there it is. It's that one right there. The second one. And then you can see that uh it's got these little marching ants around it. You know, those are the selection lines. That means that's where it's gonna cut. So for some reason, the quality is terrible when you preview it here, but you got to trust me, it's going to look great when you actually get this on a t-shirt or sticker or whatever you want. So, And you can see right there, it looks much better. All right, that's it. And uh, I want that file on Classroom in the assignment uh, that I posted. Have a good day.